At the time of recording this video, I have 25 different sets of instructions, some of them free, some of them premium, but still with a very reasonable price tag, only a couple of pounds. And included in them 25 are three different models of Kenobi's Delta. Now, not all of them for Kenobi. I've taken the set that Lego made last year and not only turned the set minifigure scale using no extra pieces, but also modified it to fit Plo Koon and Anakin's Delta. Now, there are a few other designs I'd love to tackle in the future. And if you do want any more Deltas, let me know down in the description of this video. But today, we're looking at Kenobi's minifigure scale Delta, which as you can see, is considerably shorter than the vessel. I'm pretty sure it's probably about two thirds of the size of the official Lego model. Now, as I said, instructions for this are up on Ribrickball. It's only a pound and it does help out the channel a lot. So if you wanted to build a one to 45 scale, that is the minifigure scale that we use here on the channel, then definitely head over to the rubric board. I'll leave the links for all three in the description. Before we take a closer look at this in a second, a few of you long time subscribers might already know I've already done a video on this. In fact, nine months ago, I covered this ship and the video isn't great if I'm honest. I wouldn't recommend going back and watching it, but it's still up on the channel. If you want, just search Kenobi's Delta and I'm sure you'll find the video I'm talking about. It's a fixed camera from on top of the ship and I barely show off any of the features. So let's get looking at just how awesome this little ship is. As you can see from the exterior of the ship, it matches up to the proportions of the Delta 7B from Attack of the Clones very, very well. And as I said, I also use this to build Plo Koon's Delta from the Order 66 scene in Revenge of the Sith and Anakin's from throughout the Clone Wars until he ends up destroying it. But we do have Kenobi's droid, which I don't quite remember the name for. And something I didn't show off in the initial video was actually the body of the droid in its little hidey hole there. I have included it. There's enough space to include the torso of the droid as well as to remove the cockpit for Kenobi in one easy swoop. Of course, if you're getting the droid body out and want to put the droid together, chances are you're also wanting to remove Kenobi from the ship. So it made sense to build the cockpit into that feature and have them both come off as one. It's really, really cool. And Kenobi does slide out quite well. There are studs if you choose to stud him down on the interior, plenty of room for his hands. But if you just want to flop him in, there's also the option to do that. And it does make Kenobi a bit easier to remove from the cockpit of his Delta. Now, we do have the fin at the back. If I replace the cockpit, I can show you that the fin on the back is a bit thicker than perhaps I would have liked. But it does keep up with the scales of the Delta, of course. This is probably going to be a sticker thin on the real thing, but I've built this a bit thicker, just like the Lego model, so that there is that security and stability in the model. You can honestly swoosh it around from the back. And we've also carried over a lot of the key details, like the stickers running up the side of the model and along the front. We've also got a very similar nose to the official Lego model, even though I've had to mix around the parts and put it together myself. And of course, the burnt marks on the tops of the wings here. I'm not quite sure what they're for, but they were really cool. So I had to include them on the fins of the wings. We've also got the Republic logo, the other side of the droid. And you can see there's another jumper plate. Well, what could that possibly be for other than the scanner stowed on the underside of Kenobi's Delta. And just like so, it does fit next to the droid and you can give it that little angle so that it's cooling out. And if you wanted more space on that wing, I included the jumper plate on the other side, purely so you could fit it either side. I'm sure both wings have a little radar just in case one of them gets damaged. So Kenobi can still send out a distress call. And once again, that is stored on the underside of the ship. There are no extra pieces at all in this model. So everything you need will come in Kenobi's Starfighter set. You can also see that I have included Kenobi's lightsaber there and it's a play feature that most Lego shuttles have. I just had to include the clips for Kenobi's saber so that you can store this with the rest of it. And because of the base of the Starfighter is nice and flat, you don't need any stands, any extra landing gear, and 
you've got enough space for the minifigure, the droid and the lot. So I'm very happy with how this model turned out. You can see the wings are connected like they are in the official set. Kenobi's hair is a bit wonky, so let's fix that. And once again, there is plenty of space in the cockpit. You can have Kenobi's arms a bit further down if you like it. So they're hidden from the front of the cockpit. You've also got a little bit of room behind if that's where you want to store Kenobi's lightsaber or perhaps he's got a blaster, which would be so uncivilized. But there is honestly so much space in here. You could probably even take out the droid's body from the set and include another play feature in the cockpit. Perhaps even get a minifigure hidden away because there probably is enough space to either have a short minifigure like Yoda standing up or to hide a minifigure seated down. But of course, you'll probably want to store the torso for when the droid wants to roll around on Kamino. I do want to say thank you all to everyone who has purchased the instructions for this and chosen to support the channel through Rebrickable because it helps fund the videos and just allows me to buy and review and build more sets just like this. So once again, check out Rebrickable. I will quickly show you Plo Koon and Anakin's ship before I wrap up this video. So when you're over on Rebrickable, you can see the instructions do only cost one pound. So they're not too expensive for what you're getting. But if you don't own the set, and perhaps you already have a Kenobi and a red astromech, you can scroll down and head over to inventory. You also find the original video on Rebrickable if you would like to watch that too. Go over to inventory and it will list every single piece you need. So for all of the Rebrickable instructions, you can check the pieces before you even buy the instructions. I also do include a part list at the end of every one of my instructions in case you'd prefer to print it out and go through it with your parts collection, which personally is the easiest thing to do. But there's also a link to add them all to a Bricklink wanted list or even just to purchase them straight off Bricklink. You can see with 79 parts and 162 pieces, the approximate cost is £13. £13 for a minifigure Delta is amazing. There was a comment that I'll put on screen that said, instead of the micro fighters, we should get a minifigure line set. Just a ship. I think it should come with a pilot and a droid, and that'd be awesome for £15. In fact, all of these models stick to that £15 price. You can see Plo Koon's Delta here in his blue and white colours, which does use a few slopes. It comes in a little more expensive at £15, but once again, all the parts are here if you'd like to check them out. And perhaps you can even substitute a few of the different plates if you don't have that size, because not all of them have to be that specific part. And that goes with Lego sets as well. A lot of the times you can substitute parts for things that are more common in your collection, and it just helps to balance some of the cost. Now, we also have Anakin's Delta as well. This is the version based off Kenobi's Delta. I have also made a version based off his ETA. Well, it's not quite based off his ETA, but it's using all of the pieces from the ETA. So perhaps you don't want to splash out for an Anakin Delta and would rather go check out that video, go check it out on Rebrickable. I think it's quite a nice build for the limited pieces. But if you would like to see how many pieces you need for Anakin's Delta using the same modeling as Kenobi's here, then definitely head over to Rebrickable. It doesn't hurt checking the pieces in your collection. Rebrickable itself does actually allow you to add your own parts into a list. So if your collection doesn't take up a bunch of different drawers, I think it'd be way too long. I'm well past the point of trying to track my entire collection. Definitely head over to Rebrickable, put in your parts and see which ones you need. It will come to even less than £14. Thank you so much for all the support on Rebrickable. And also one thing to mention with Anakin's Delta, R2 doesn't go on the side like with Kenobi's, like with Plo's, but actually is on the four exposed studs here at the top of the Delta. So if you do end up building it, I haven't forgotten about R2, I've just given him some space elsewhere. But as with Anakin's, Plo's, Kenobi's, all the droid bodies fit inside. They use the same mechanism where you just pop off the top, including the cockpit piece, and you can access the droid torso. So I hope you enjoyed this video and a much, much better look at Kenobi's Delta. It's a very sturdy model. Not only can you hold it from the back, from the front, from the top, there's even, because of that bar at the bottom, some space to hold it at the bottom and swoosh it around, even by the engines. I really 
do love this model. I can't wait to see the rumored Jedi Starfighter that we've got coming out at the end of the year that's supposed to come with Jedi Bob based off Rebuild the Galaxy. And I'll definitely be building a model minifigure scale based on that set. Who knows? Perhaps that set even could be minifigure scale itself. I look forward to finding out. Definitely be sure to drop a like on the video. If you did enjoy it, it helps me out a ton. And subscribe for more awesome LEGO content as well as the future of LEGO Starships. And may the bricks be with you always.